Good morning. I want you to know how happy I am to be here with you today. And what a privilege it is to be in this space with all of you. And I have that feeling very strongly today uh, because <laughs> I spent nine and a half hours yesterday in the emergency room uh, of the Anna Jake's Hospital in Newburyport uh, with my dear wife who was not feeling well. Um, and uh, that's one reason that I'm really happy to be here with you today. And the other reason is uh, I'm really glad to be back after the spring break. Um, when I'm not here at Brooks, most of my life is taken up with being a caregiver uh, for the woman that I love. And it's a lonely job. And it, it just has been so important for me <laughs> to be part of this community and to be here with you um, and just to share what goes on in this place. And I want you to know how important you all are and how important this place is for me in my life. And I really missed you all uh, during the three weeks that we were apart. And I spent a lot of time during the break thinking about community just because I was missing it in my own life. And I thought about how much disruption we've had to, all of us have had to community over the past two years because of, the, because of COVID. You know, our, you know, our lives changed so much. Um, our families were impacted, our classrooms were impacted, our life here as a school, uh, every institution, everybody in the, the whole country, our, our life was just disrupted um, so much of the time, um, our lives, in our, in our normal lives, we go from one community to another, to another, to our families, our friend groups, classes, work, whatever. Um, and for most, of, for most of the last two years, in some way or another, that got disrupted. Uh, and it, made, it has made me appreciate and value community and, and it's made me appreciate how important that is in my life and I think so, I think for, for all of us. And the other thing that I have been thinking about in terms of community is what's happening in Ukraine. Because what we're seeing in Ukraine is what happens when somebody in a position of high power doesn't value community. We're seeing what happens when somebody cares more about power and his or her own will than sharing life and community with other people. And we're, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to mention that guy's name, who's the head of, the, of who, who's the leader of Russia right now, because I don't want to dignify him by naming him. But what he's doing in Ukraine is just so the opposite of what community really means. And the other thing that we're seeing is the strength of the, the, the community of, of Ukrainians who have risen up and are defending themselves against a much stronger opponent. And God bless them for that. But all of this, thinking about all this has just, it has made me realize more than ever how much I value being part of this place and how much I value the stress, the emphasis that Brooks puts on community and on being a good, caring, sharing place for everyone. I know it's not perfect. None of us are. I know we all fail. Um, we fail more often than we, we, we would like to. And we have to work at being good members of community. Uh, but it's also true, I think, that it's in the working out of it's in, the, it's in the hassles of being part of community that we learn how to do it, that we learn how to share with others 
I think it's how we learn how to love. I think it's ultimately how we learn how to know the spirit, that ocean of love that in our Western culture is usually called God. And I think that's, that's spoken about in the second reading that we had this morning from John Wellwood, who talks about we become willing to let go our old identities, to let them wither and fail away so that we can stand naked once more in the presence of the great mystery that lies at the core of being. This is how, life ri this is how love ripens us by warming us from within, by inspiring us to break out of our shell and lighting our way through the dark passage to new birth. I believe that the process he's talking about of letting go of self and learning to love others truly in true surrender to the relationship with another person or, with an, or other people, with a group, with a community, with all the universe, with all creation, I believe that is the heart of community and it is the heart of discovering what we call God. And I believe that that's the core that all of the great religions teach us. The religions are all encrusted with all kinds of stuff, songs and stories and rituals and uh, rules and regulations. But underneath all of that, what every religion is talking about is let go of yourself let go of self and reach out in love to those around you and you will find the ultimate truth of life. I believe that and I believe that living together in community is how we find it. In the next few weeks, we're gonna hear from uh, about at least 20 different members of the senior class as they give, as they honor us with their senior speeches. Um, and in many of those speeches, we will hear from people about how this community has changed your lives, uh, about how you've grown, about, about what you've learned, about what your hopes are. And these speeches, these senior speeches, are part of what makes Brooks so strong. It's part of what makes this a community where we are all discovering who we are and how we love one how we can love one another it's part of what makes us makes brooks a community that nurtures us all and grows good human beings so enjoy these senior speeches in the next few weeks um, and let them help all of us become stronger, better, and truer members of the beloved community that we belong to. God bless you all. Thank you for listening.